From speed demon centipedes to ancient terrestrial monsters, here are 16 things you did not know about centipedes. 16. Some general facts. While centipedes are not classified as insects, they are both arthropods, which means centipedes are related to insects as well as to crustaceans and spiders. Around 8,000 species of centipedes are thought to exist worldwide, with around 3,300 of them described so far. And they are found on every continent except Antarctica. However, they have been known to reach beyond the Arctic Circle, which gives them an impressive geographical range. The greatest diversity in terms of shape and form, though, occurs in warmer habitats, including tropical rainforests, are also found in deserts, savannas, and prairies, and most species are adapted to living in caves and under the ground. 15. Pet Centipedes Not exactly the first choice of pet that might spring to mind, but in certain parts of the world, centipedes are viewed as such, and that's especially the case with house centipedes in Japan. It might sound a little strange, but then again, people keep tarantulas and boa constrictors as pets, so why not? Now, should you plan on keeping a centipede as a pet? Here are a few guidelines to think about. Your centipede should be kept in a terrarium with a surface area of at least 60 centimeters square. If you're planning on getting a larger specimen like the Amazonian giant centipede. Since they like to burrow, they need a built substrate of soil and coconut fiber. And you can feed them pre-killed insects like cockroaches or crickets and keep a shallow bowl of water nearby. 14. They only come out at night. Centipedes are mostly nocturnal creatures and tend to prefer environments that are dark and moist. Now, that preference can be attributed to a lack of waterproofing. Most arthropods have a waxy coating on the cuticle to avoid losing water. Centipedes, however, do not have that. So to compensate, they inhabit moist, dark places like damp, rotting wood or underneath leaf litter. For those species that inhabit arid desert environments, they will minimize the risk of dehydration by altering their behaviors. And that can include waiting until season or rains occur, or humidity rising to the point they can comfortably resume their activities. 13. Centipede the Video Game You might have initially thought of the classic video game from Atari. So for those of you who were understandably mistaken, Centipede was a hugely popular arcade game produced by Atari, and it appeared in 1980. It was one of the most successful games from the golden age of video arcade games. The basic idea was that you, as a player, had to take down centipedes, spiders, and scorpions, among other critters. But a round was completed by eliminating the centipede. Now, if you ever played this game, be sure and let us know what your high score was. 12. Eternal Instinct Now maybe this is something you would not expect from a creature that looks like something from out of a horror movie, but it does turn out that females of the species make surprisingly good moms. Certain species show a willingness to dote upon the brood. Some tropical varieties are known to lay down an egg mass in an underground burrow. The eggs are then protected until they hatch, as the mother will wrap a body around her offspring as they mature. If the mother feels threatened, she will either abandon the offspring or eat the eggs. Now, sometimes Sometimes, the kids will return the favor. Some larger species of centipedes are known to be matrophagic. That is, the offspring will consume their own mother. 11. Centipede Chow Did you know these arthropods are often used as a food source in some countries? In China, you can find street vendors in larger cities that will sell you centipedes that are deep fried or grilled and impaled upon skewers for your eating pleasure. In countries including Cambodia, Laos, and Thailand, larger specimens are stored in liquor for a certain amount of time. The centipede-infused booze is consumed as a special drink and is said to have medicinal properties that will rejuvenate and reinvigorate anyone who imbibes it. 10. All legs. The name notwithstanding, centipedes cannot have exactly 100 legs, and that's because the animals always have an odd number of pairs of legs. Generally, centipedes will have between 30 to more than 350 legs, but that number can change over the course of their lives. Centipedes continue to molt as they mature, so if one is trapped by a predator like a bird, they can escape by leaving some of the legs behind while escaping on the others. The damaged appendages will be replaced as new ones regenerate. Now, some species can start their lives with as few as 14 legs, but pairs will be added on as the centipedes continue to molt as they become adults. 
Nine, falsipules. Centipedes have something that is found on no other arthropod. The first pair of legs actually function as more than legs. They've been modified into pencil-like appendages located just behind the head. Known as falsipules, they are used to capture prey, hold on to it, and then inject venom to paralyze the victim. A tube runs from a venom gland to the tip of the falsipules. So, in effect, the critter's first set of legs essentially serve as venomous fangs. 8. Giant Red-Headed Centipedes While this animal can grow to around 8 inches or longer, we have a larger specimen coming up, so stay with us. And both of them, by the way, belong to the same genus. This one, though, is the largest centipede found in North America, and it's located from Mexico into the southwestern U.S. Its unusual coloration serves as a warning to predators and is distinguished by its unusual red head and greenish-black tail and body. And while there are individual cases of its venom causing severe symptoms like heart attacks in humans, most bites will result in nausea or fever. 7. Amphibious Centipede while an aquatic centipede might seem like something from a nightmare, they really do exist. And at nearly 8 inches long, it might not be difficult to miss in the water. The so-called waterfall centipede was discovered in Thailand in 2000, where a scientist noticed it running along a stream bank, and then watched as the creature tried to escape by swimming under the water's surface with an eel-like motion. News of the discovery was met with a lot of skepticism, though, since centipedes will typically avoid water. But it was later confirmed as a new species in 2016. It is the first known amphibious centipede described, and experts think it's native to Southeast Asia. 6. Quick as a flash. You already know they have some lightning moves, but did you know this beast has been recognized as one of the fastest animals on land? Researchers have clocked them charging ahead at about 420 millimeters per second. That would be the equivalent of a human being running about 42 miles an hour. In addition to the 15 pairs of legs, they also have a unique tracheal system that efficiently pumps oxygen into the bodies quick enough to power the leg muscles. 5. They used to be enormous. Arthropleura was a millipede arthropod, that is, an ancestor of both millipedes and centipedes, which could grow some 8 feet long and possibly longer. Quite a contrast in size to modern day centipedes, isn't it? But these critters could also measure several feet in width, and thanks to those dimensions, most experts think Arthropleura had very few predators. Indeed, this animal is recognized as the largest species of invertebrate yet discovered, and by a fair margin at that. Still, even though it appeared predatory, this prehistoric arthropod was really a herbivore, and not unlike its centipede descendants. This creature could move swiftly as it swerved to avoid obstacles in its path. It lived more than 300 million years ago in present day North America and Scotland. 4. Further back in the day. But it seems their lineage can actually be traced back beyond the time of Arthur Pleura. Fossil records indicate that the creepy crawlies can potentially date back more than 400 million years ago and are linked to Pneumodismus. That's been recognized as the very first myriapod, which refers to a group of arthropods that includes centipedes, millipedes, and other multi-legged animals. That particular creature is thought to be the oldest animal known to have lived on land. 3. Centipedes versus Millipedes these two animals are similar in appearance and can often be mistaken for one another. So, how do you tell them apart? There are a couple of ways to do so if you're so inclined. For one, millipedes have twice the number of legs per segment as centipedes, with two pairs of shorter legs there. Centipedes have a single pair of legs on each body segment, and they have flatter bodies compared to millipedes, which have rounded cross sections. Millipedes have shorter antenna compared to centipedes. Centipedes are fast-moving, carnivorous, and have claws that serve as fangs to deliver venom. 2. Scary Centipedes One of the more unnerving sights you might see in your home is this critter that can move disturbingly fast, whether scuttling across the floors or up the walls. And here it is again, showing up on a list. The house centipede is infamous for its scary appearance and for its behavior. Measuring up to around 4 inches long, they have 15 pairs of legs, which allows them to move at those surprising speeds as we've previously noted. And they tend to prefer the great indoors, usually living on the ground level. A Aside from giving you a fright, though, they pose a minimal threat to humans. In fact, if you can tolerate these centipedes as housemates, they can serve as a type of pest control, since they are insectivores that prey on flies, bedbugs, and silverfish. 1. They can still get enormous. 
Now granted, the Amazonian giant centipede does not grow nearly as large as Arthur Pleura, but it's still big for a centipede. Now this one is found throughout various regions of South America and the Caribbean, and can grow to more than 12 inches long. So no wonder that many sources cite this animal as the world's largest extant centipede. It's got an aggressive temperament to go along with its fearsome appearance too. They feed on lizards, snakes, and tarantulas, and are able to take on birds the size of sparrows. But maybe the most impressive or frightening hunting behavior is their ability to slither up the sides of cave walls, affix themselves to the ceilings, and from there they can lash out and snatch bats out of the air as they fly past. Wow.